from time to time, you may want to be collecting data from some data source, maybe from a uh, some measuring device, and getting data. The data could come uh, as a text file. I'm going to click on here, and you can see a sample, a uh, little text file that we've got with a date. Dates. I have about a thousand rows of data here for July. Various clients uh, type is uh, different products with product numbers here. The value way over here, and whether it was an online purchase or not. This is this last column here? Columns aren't lined up. I've got some messy sort of data at the top here that's not really useful for my report, and I need to get this into Excel and to analyze that. But I don't get this one report. I get a report like this every month or maybe every week or maybe every day and I need to keep copying and pasting and adding uh, this data. So um, Microsoft Excel has got some um, business intelligence tool that makes this really easy. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to open up uh, Excel. I'm using Excel 2016 and I've downloaded the Power Query add-on from Microsoft and this is going to make my life uh, much easier. Um, this works for uh, Excel 2010 and 2013 and uh, 2016. So I'm going to click on the Power Query and I'm going to get data from many different sources, in this case from a file, and not just from a file but actually from a folder. So this is going to become important because later when I want to, once I built this query, when I add more reports, I simply have to drop the files into the folder and they will automatically be appended to this data. So this is <coughs> be exciting for us. <coughs> so it's um, asking where the folder is. So I've got a folder on my desktop called monthly report. And I'm going to hit OK. And I've got just two monthly reports at this point uh, in my in my data. It's important not to have anything else in this folder except the data that you want to analyze. So these are the two files that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to load them up. And it loads up the Power Query. Notice it's just pointing at these files. Okay, so this is a good start. But I need to edit my query. And I can do some things here very, very quickly and powerfully with this new tool. So first thing that happens is it's showing me just a couple lines. But I don't want just the lines. I want all the data. So I'm going to say, show me all the content. And it shows this to me. Now, notice it's got this data here. And it will also have it down at the start of the next file. So I'm going to also have this in there the, the second time around. So what I'm going to do um, here is, um, first of all, I need to get ri rid of those first five rows. So I'll click on this button here uh, up at the top, and I'm going to say remove the top rows. And I'll say, yep, I want to remove the first five rows. And hit OK. Now it only does this for this first set of data. It's not doing it for all the following data. I'm going to go back here again and I'm going to say use the first row as headers. And so row one is now moved up into the headers and that's good. But way down here I've got some blank data. So I'm going to in this in this column, not in the first column, but in the second column. So I'm going to go here and I'm not seeing it, but here I have to hit load more to see all the data that's there. And notice in this column I'm going to have about four or five blank cells at the top of the second set of data. So I'm going to say eliminate that. Also, I'm going to eliminate the row that says client in it, because that's just the header for the second set of data. That's great. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's now removed that data down below. And notice here on the right that it's recording all of the steps that I'm doing in this um, process. Now, everything here is a text file, uh, or text, because it came from a text file. So I'm going to need to transform some data here. So I'm going to select the date and notice date, date type here. Data type says text. I'm going to say, no, 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 this is a date. And here's this value. This value is also a text. And I say, no, 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 this is a currency. 
and it's online, it's a one or zero, it doesn't really matter. I could leave it as text, but I'm going to make it a whole number just because. And so it's recording, again, all of the steps. So now I've cleaned up this data quite nicely. It said remove the first five rows, remove anything where this column is a blank, remove anything this column where it's a client, and transform this, this data. So now that I've done that, I can go back to the Home tab, and I'm going to hit Close and Load. And it takes what was just a header, and it cleans up all that data, adds this data. And when I click in here, if I sort oldest to newest, you're going to see I've got September or July and August date uh, data in there. So at this point, I can put this into a pivot table if I want to. So I'm going to rename the sheet data. I'll rename this one pivot. And uh, I'm going to insert a pivot table into an existing sheet. And I've got a, a pivot table here. I'm going to maybe add the, the date into the row here. Oh, I need to clean up that, that date. So I'll hit uh, group selection. I'll say months. And uh, I decide I'm going to put the month into here, I'm going to put the client into here, and maybe I'll put the value into here. And I'll get my total sales for July and August nicely set up in my pivot table. So this is uh, great, and I've got this data in here. But here's the really exciting part, is that if I want to add more data to this, As I get my September data, I can just take September data and just add this to this folder. Because we said we're looking at the monthly report folder for the data. So now when I go to Excel and I go to the data here, all I need to do is right click on this data and hit refresh. And it loads up another thousand or so rows of data. And I now have September in my report. If I refresh the pivot table, I'm going to have September in my pivot table. And I'm not limited to just one file. I can take three, three months of data and drop it into that folder. And now when I go to Excel and I go to my data and right click and hit refresh, it loads up all three columns of data. If I look into my date, I see I've got all the months here. If I refresh the screen, I'm going to go to my pivot table. All my reports are done automatically, making it just super easy for me to update more data as I get it. Hope this video is helpful for you. Don't hesitate to give us a call at Power Concepts 250-861-8324. Thanks.